isolation and analysis methods of extracellular vesicles. Biological cells release vesicles of varying sizes. These vesicles are known by different names including microvesicles, exosomes and apoptotic bodies, which are collectively called EVs. The particular subtype classification of EVs is based on their cellular origin and biogenesis. MVs are heterogeneous membrane-bound vesicles and range from 100 nanometers to 1 micrometer in size. On the other hand, exosomes are the smallest category in the EV family with sizes ranging from 30 to 150 nanometers. Finally, apoptotic bodies range from 1 to 5 micrometers in size. EVs contain variable components including lipids, carbohydrates, cytokines, proteins and RNAs. Both the surface and intravesical material of EVs originate from their host cells make EVs suitable biomarkers for disease management such as diagnosis and monitoring responses to therapy. In order to analyze EVs cargo, EVs of interest must be isolated in high purity and high yields from body fluids. There are different conventional EV isolation methods. Hydrophilic polymers such as polyethylene glycol reduce the solubility by lowering the hydration of EVs and lead to precipitation. But the isolate can contain protein impurities and effect on downstream processing. Ultracentrifugation is based on separation of particles according to their buoyant density. But this method does not sort the disease from the non-disease related EVs. Sequential filtration or combined filtration with ultracentrifugation is used to isolate high-grade exosomes. However, clogging and shear stress can damage the EV particles. Many of the recently reported platforms for the isolation of EVs have been based on the use of microfluidics. By including the appropriate micro or nanoscale structures within the chip, approaches including affinity selection, filtration and centrifugation can be used for EV isolation using a microfluidic. Affinity enrichment by microfluidics can enrich primary disease associated EVs improving the quality of the molecular data secured from the isolate. These devices also have the ability to integrate to post-enrichment processing steps such as enumeration and molecular profiling of the EV cargo. This microfluidic device shown here was fabricated using thermoplastics via micro-injection molding and it was used for diagnosing acute ischemic stroke patients using exosomal mRNA. This device was successful in enriching EVs from clinical plasma samples and gene profiling the EVs via droplet digital PCR for identifying stroke patients with a total assay time of 220 minutes. Following isolation and enrichment of EVs, the EVs must be enumerated in many cases. Current methods that can directly analyze EVs from a physical perspective include nanoparticle tracking analysis and resistive pulse sensing. In NTA, both dynamic light scattering and Brownian motion are used to determine the size and concentration of particles. However, large sample size requirement and limited dynamic range are some of the drawbacks of nanoparticle tracking analysis. Resistive pulse sensing generates an output that can either be a change in potential or current measured across the nanopore structure. It is also feasible to couple the RPS with an EV isolation chip. With the real-time electrical signal readout, RPS can provide EV sample information during the isolation and illusion phases of the assay. 